What's happening everybody? Tony Baker from Six String Country back for another lesson. And today we're going to do something different and pull out the baritone guitar, um, which we've never done at Six String Country before. We're going to talk a little bit about the baritone guitar, um, the differences in the tunings and how to translate that mentally um, to make this a very easy transition from playing a regular six string electric to playing a baritone. Let's go over standard tuning, all right? Um, one of the great things about a baritone is you can tune it a lot of different ways. It's just like a guitar, you can tune a guitar a lot of different ways. You can uh, go open B, you can do open A, probably even get away with open G. You can go uh, drop A, um, drop G. Uh, there's just all sorts of cool tunings you can mess with, but um, we'll start with B standard, because B standard is nice, because it's the same intervals as a regular electric guitar, which means the shapes and the patterns are all the same. So here we go. This is a B note. The low string, right, the way I have it tuned in B standard is a B note. Then we have up a fourth. Just like on a regular guitar, we go up a fourth for the second string, and that's going to get us an E. So we have B, E, then we need another fourth, and that is going to get us an A. B, E, A. And then we have, uh, after the A, we have to go another fourth, which is a D. Okay, and then uh, from the D, we need to go up a third. Uh, and up from a D from a third is an F sharp. And then from the F sharp up a fourth, we go to another B. B, E, A, D, F sharp, uh, B. We're gonna talk about this extensively in the next video, and it's gonna make more sense, but just to start wrapping our heads around it, um, obviously this is an E shape, but it's not an E, right? Because we down-tuned it. Um, so much from a, where a regular guitar is. So how do we know? Well, this is the root note, and it's a B, like we just talked about. And so we know on a regular guitar, the root note of an E, and this is an E. So this is a B root note, and this is a B chord, B major. Next one is an E. So same thing, root, E. Here's an E chord, E major. The next one is an A. So just like on a regular guitar, we'd say, oh, that's a D chord, and that's the root, the D. Well, this is an A note. So on a baritone guitar tuned like this, this is an A, and you can, you know, do, go on and on. This is a, a D note on the baritone, and it's the root, it's a D chord. So again, that's just a little sneak peek. We're going to talk in great detail about how to quickly mentally um, figure out what chord shapes and what scale patterns we need to play to match up with other instruments when we're jamming. Okay, so if you're new to the baritone, uh, there's a couple uh, important things to know, all right? Number one, uh, the neck on a baritone is longer than a normal neck, and it's more spread out. And this is what uh, lets the guitar have higher gauge strings. Like this, usually you're looking at, you know, somewhere around the 13 gauge range for baritone guitars. Whereas on my electric guitar, uh, my normal Telecasters, I keep 10s on there. So they're heavier gauges, and it gives a longer uh, neck length to give it the ability to tune down um, a long ways without having it rattle. If you try to tune a regular electric guitar down to a B note like this is, it'd be going, you know, it'd be hitting all the frets unless you, maybe unless you just barely tapped it. Um, but it's, you practically can't use an electric guitar tuned that low typically, okay? Uh, this though is meant for it. Right? So you don't hear any of that rattling. Um, that's the purpose of the baritone. You get these nice, beefy, um, bassy sounds. Right? Um, so that's why we're able to do it. And typically, um, well, you, people tune these baritones all sorts of ways. It's one of the fun things about them. You can go quite a bit lower than this. One of the songs we're going to learn the riff from Killing Time by Clint Black uh, goes all the way down. It down tunes everything a whole step. So you're in A standard and then you drop to a G note. So it goes, this, this low string goes down a whole nother um, two steps. 
and it sounds good. It's don't, there's no rattle, no nothing. So we can have a lot of fun with the tunings. We're going to start with just how it's normally tuned. The nice thing about a baritone, which you may have noticed in my noodling, we're using the same shapes, right? The same chord shapes that we do on a regular six string guitar. So the first thing we need to know is that it's down a perfect fourth from a regular guitar. Typically, it's called, we'll call it B standard tuning, all right? So just like on a regular electric guitar or acoustic guitar, you start with your low string, you go up a fourth, up a fourth, up a fourth, up a major third, and up a fourth. That's difference in the intervals between these strings, tuning them with the same intervals, let us, lets us play the same chord shapes and the same scale patterns. Right? Um, which is awesome. Once we understand what key we're playing in so we can play with other people, we already know how to play this thing. And you gotta love instruments like that. There's some um, kinds of ukulele that's a lot like that where um, it's four strings, but it's the top four strings of a guitar, essentially in terms of shapes. You gotta do some mental um, gymnastics a little bit to figure out what key you're in. But once you do that, um, you can just go nuts because you already know how to play this thing if you already know how to play the guitar. So let's talk about how we figure that out if we're playing with other people, okay? We're, this is tuned down a fourth from a regular guitar. Regular guitar starts on an E, right? Is the low note. The low note is an E. This low note is a B. So why is that a fourth? Uh, again, we do have a lot of this theory stuff on the site, but um, that's not the purpose of this video, but we are just gonna do a quick review for those who are interested, okay? Um, you go down a perfect fourth from an E by going down one whole step, another whole step, and a half step. So if we go down one whole step, that is uh, a major second. Another whole step is a major third down from the E, and then a, another half step is the perfect fourth. And you can see that's, if we were on a regular guitar, we would have that be the B note, okay? So all that to say, the most important thing about all that rambling was that the baritone guitar, typically, and again, you can do it all different ways, but um, how you often see it is it's tuned down a fourth from a regular electric guitar. So what does that mean? So we're, if, so this is a B chord, right? This is a B note. And just like this shape on a regular guitar is an E chord and the bottom note is an E, it's the same shape and the bottom note is a B, so it's a B. We gotta remember and that chord shapes are chord shapes and scale patterns are scale patterns. But this shape doesn't necessarily mean it's an E chord, right? It's, we think of it as an E shape, so we can do some of these mental gymnastics, and I don't think that's bad, but we have to understand that the shape isn't what makes it the chord, it's the notes, right? So here we have a B, an F sharp, which is a fifth above, another B, octave, and a major third, B major. Here's another uh, fifth and a root, okay? So we have a major chord, and it's because of the notes we're playing, and because of how it's tuned, down a fourth, we have a B. So let's do one more just for fun real quick, and you can do this in your mind with me. This is a G shape, but it's not a G chord, right? Uh, it's not a G chord because we're not playing the notes that make up a G chord. It's just how we typically, as guitar players, think of a G shape. Um, cowboy chord shape, right? So what note is this to start? This is a B, we already know that. C. C sharp, D, okay, so that's the root. We already think this is gonna be a D major chord because it sounds major and the root is a D, but let's check. It's a D note, this is an F sharp note, which is the third above, and then we have an A note, which is the fifth, a D note, which is uh, an octave, uh, another A note, and another D note. D, F sharps, and A's, this is a D major, okay? Hopefully that's starting to make some sense. And so the good news is there's an easy way, once we understand what we were just talking about here, there's an easy way to figure out how to play along with the other people you're jamming with. Um, if the keyboard player or the bass player, who usually aren't gonna be messing around with capos or weird tunings or anything like that, let's say they're playing in the key of 
uh, let's just say the key of A. They're jamming in A blues, okay? So we, because we down-tuned a fourth from standard tuning on an electric guitar, which if you're in standard tuning on an electric guitar and the piano player says, we're jamming blues in A, you play A blues, right? Um, but now we're down a fourth. So if we want to be able to think about chord shapes and scales um, that we know already, we need to go up a fourth from the key of A. And up a fourth is D, right? You have, let's just do it on this guitar. On a regular guitar, this is an A note. So what do we say about a fourth? You have a whole step, another whole step, and a half step. So A, whole step, that would be a major second. Another whole step is a major third. And a half step is a perfect fourth. And that, uh, you know, on a regular guitar, we would think of as a D. So we're gonna use D shapes, but this is not a D chord. This is an A chord. Why? Because the notes, the actual notes, if you have a chromatic tuner on, you can do this with me, okay? Um, this is an A note. That's an E note. That's an A note. And that's a C sharp. So an A, a C sharp, and an E. That makes up an A chord. Once we're here, it gets nice. Because we know if we're jamming, because now we can just think about the key of D. Key of D blues, well, And I'm going to go to a G. Then an A. Hey, it's your turn to solo. All right, where's my D blues? I think a couple concepts. Number one, it's okay, in my opinion, to use these mental gymnastics to quickly get our brains uh, in the right spot to be playing the right thing, playing along with people. Um, and that's what we were talking about with just counting up a fourth, right? That's a mental shortcut and uh, it works great. And then think about those chord shapes and those scale patterns. At the same time, I do think it's important for us to understand that chord shapes don't equal chord names and scale patterns don't equal scale names, right, or uh, where we are, what chords we're playing. So, like we said, you know, that's an E shape, it's not an E. It's a G shape, it's not a G, it's a D. And we, I've talked about the tuning at this point, we know um, the names of the open strings and that they're the same up here. So we can, we can figure out what notes any one of these are, what actual notes, and that's how, if we really want to get to the bottom, of what chord we're playing, we can figure it out that way too. Um, but it's okay, in my opinion, like I said, to use these shortcuts as well. So I hope that helped and let's keep going. All right, in this one, we're gonna talk about a tuning called drop G. You could also think of it as A standard with drop G. That's actually how we're gonna get there, okay? We're gonna get into A standard, then just drop this an extra whole step. Um, and the baritone guitar can support it. You know, it's really, really, uh, boom, uh, bassy, you know, but it's, uh, it's a cool tuning and it's what we need to be in to play this riff from Killing Time. So right now I'm in B standard, you know, the standard tuning that we start with. We need to go down a whole step. So I need this B to match an A note. Well, that was pretty close, but we'll check. A little sharp and with these you want to come back up a little bit to end lock it in there uh, and then from there we need we can do the old school method now if we want but instead of a E note we're gonna need a D note all right it's gonna be pretty close check it we're gonna come back up a little bit though all right there's our D note
Uh, now we're going to need a G note, so we can do the same. It's going to be close. Okay, good. Uh, there's our G. Now we're going to need a C note instead of the normal D, down the whole step. It's going to be close. Check it. Yeah, right on the money, but let's come back up a little bit. There you go. All right, now instead of the F sharp, we're going to need an E note. Right on the money. Now we need an A note. Okay, there it is. So now we're in uh, A standard tuning. This is another pretty common tuning for baritones. cool tuning but now to get it so that, that's one um, if you want to get to a standard that's what you do all right if we want to get it this would be similar to like a drop D right but uh, we couldn't we couldn't do this very well on a regular guitar because this low string would be just buzzing like crazy um, but on a baritone you can so we're this would be like D standard tuning on an electric down a whole step but now we're gonna go another step and down tune this low string to a G so you could really consider this tuning that we're going to end up in drop G if you'd like. And that would be the same kind of terminology that we use on the guitar. So we're going to take this down and have it match this note. All right. And one thing with this kind of, these kind of tunings, when you're going so far out, you're gonna have to tune it typically um, and then play a little bit on it, retune it, fine tune it, do some bends, play on it a little bit, and you're gonna have to keep on doing that, okay? So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna get it back into where we need it. Trying to come back up to finish every fine tuning. All right. talk about some open tunings here all right um, we're gonna get this guitar into open B tuning which if you are a slide player on a regular six string guitar uh, you might find the same shapes and the same moves that you would use in open E tuning uh, so let's let's get there it's gonna be the same intervals as that so we're starting in B standard okay um, just double check my B note. Now we need to get this next note, which is an E in the chord, because we're trying to make an open B chord. All right, so we're gonna go to a F sharp, so it'll be root fifth. Check that. A little low. Okay, we got B, F sharp. This one is a, typically a uh, A note, but we're gonna bring that up to a B. All right, I'm gonna get these rough and then we're gonna check them with the tuner. 
Now we need this next note, which is typically a D, to go up a half step to be a D sharp, which is a major third of a B chord. And then this is already an F sharp, and then here we have another B. Now you can do cool stuff. And we're ready for uh, solos, even ones on the site like uh, Humble and Kind, which we will learn in the baritone mini course. I'm going to walk you through how to get into B flat standard tuning, which if you're on an electric, regular electric guitar or acoustic guitar, it'd be the same thing as going from E standard, just normal tuning, down a half step to E flat standard. We're doing the same thing here. Every string is going to go down a half step. So uh, let's do it. Okay, I'm, I got my tuner here. I'm going to get this B. This is a B note right now. We're going to get it down to B flat. And Joe Walsh, I heard him talking about this once. And he said, you always want to end by bringing your string up rather than down. It just helps lock it in better. So we'll try to do that too. So this is now a B flat. Now we're going to take this E note and go down to an E flat note. Okay. Now let's check it with the tuner. I'm going to go up a little bit. All right, there we go. Now we're going to take this A flat note go down a half step no, sorry it wasn't a now we're going to an a flat if you want to try it old school you can do a harmonic on the fifth fret of the previous string and seventh fret you can go up a little bit and that's pretty close check it right on the money all right same thing with the d we're going to bring it down to a d flat let's check it That should be right there. All right, there's a D flat. Now we need to bring the F sharp down to an F natural. Uh, this one's harder to check with harmonics, but we can do it fourth fret of the previous string. Way off, right? That's pretty close. Check it with the tuner. A little high still. We're gonna go under and bring it back up. Lock that puppy in there. Okay, got it. Now this uh, B note, gonna go down to a B flat. Check it. Right on the one. All right, so now we have, ooh, that's nice. It's just down a half step, it's very rich. Um, B flat standard tuning. Thank you. 